Good morning internet, it is quarter past 10 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Today we're having a little bit of a late start again because it was pouring with rain this morning so uh, there was not much point in leaving so I waited. Now it is dry so I'm about to hit the road but I am going to put my rain suit on because it is likely that there will be more rain today. Anyway to the plan. I am now in Mivatten uh, in Iceland and today I'm going to ride to what is it called now? So this is the idea. I'm now here. The plan is to ride around the lake through the southern side to see some more interesting uh, geological features. Then I'm gonna take the main ring road to Akureyri. And then after Akureyri I might continue. I might do this, but it depends a bit on the weather and the time. And if not, I will take this road to here and that's the destination of the day but in Akureyri I need to make a stop because I got an email from from who was it not the Icelandic government but I don't know I got an email saying that now I have to do a second corona test so I already did the COVID-19 test before boarding the ship to Iceland uh, but then they sent an email that four to six days after you have to do a second test. I guess it makes sense because I could still have picked it up on the ship of course. So I have to get tested again and I'm going to a clinic in Akureyri and then see if I can do the second test um, which is for free they said so that is, that's good. But I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't have an appointment so I might have to wait a little bit there. So depending on how long I have to spend in the clinic I, I'll determine the plan and also obviously again Weather dependent, uh, we'll see what's going to happen. But now I am so ready to go. It is dry, so let's go. Now even the sun came through. <laughs> How about that? That's a good start of the day. Return the room key and then hit the road. Hi, Hi. checking out. Bye. My first geological stop is super close from here. It's just, uh, I don't know, two kilometers or something. All right, I'm at Dimu Burgir. Let's have a look. So I am now in a place called Dimu Burgir. Look at it. And this place is also known as Dark Castle. And according to Icelandic folklore, there were a bunch of ugly, mean trolls who were dancing all through the night. And then they got exposed to sunlight and they turned into stone. This is what they look like now. But if you ask a geologist how these rock formations got here, then I will tell you. So about 2000 years ago, there was a lava lake which flowed over wet unconsolidated sediments. Gases and steam built up underneath that lava. And when that steam escaped through the lava, it just froze or solidified in mid-air, creating these chimney-like structures. Let's have a closer look here. I do really like the troll story though, because this landscape just really looks like just got straight out of the Lord of the Rings setting. Anyway, the lava lake eventually retreated and only these structures were left behind.
Okay, let's head to the next uh, destination, or stop, which is 11 kilometers from here. So here you have a beautiful view on the lake. So I'm just riding around the south side there. And my next stop is somewhere on that side of the lake. And this lake is called Mi Vatten. And Vatten means water. And Mi are these tiny little mosquitoes or flies. Mosquito flies. And it's full of them around here. So that's where the name Mi Vatten comes from. So I'm in another really interesting area. This is called Skudi Gadi Gitar or something. And this area has several Poseidon craters. And a Poseidon crater is a landform which looks like a volcanic crater, but it's not formed because of an eruption. So these craters are made of a type of rock which is called scoria and tephra, which is very porous, a porous igneous rock. They were formed about 2300 years ago uh, in a similar way as the last spot. So there was hot lava flowing over this area and the sediments here at the lake were obviously wet and cold and that caused a lot of steam explosions and these steam explosions resulted in these psydo craters made of these porous rock. So this is an example of the, the rocks that I was talking about. See how light it is and it's super porous and just, yeah, it kind of just crumbles in your hands almost. But uh, this is what all these cider craters are made of. So I'm now going back to Ronan. It's now time for some serious uh, motorcycling. I've not uh, covered any distance <laughs> almost. Uh, I'm now going to that town, uh, I think to get tested again. So let's see how that goes. Do you see the flies? They're me. <laughs> oh, they are so annoying. They go in your eyes. When there's a little bit of wind, they are immediately gone. But as soon as the wind goes down, then they come in the thousands. I just spotted a tiny little petrol station there. So I'm just going to fill up, then I don't have to worry about that anymore for today. Before we go to Akureyri, let's check out the Goda Falls waterfall. So before I go and check out the waterfall, I'm going to clean up a little bit. So this is what happens if you ride past Mivatten Lake with all the me. I'm covered in me. Look, they are all here on my shirt, but look at my helmet. This is 
disgusting. I have a meat graveyard uh, all over me. Wow, this is yet another very pretty waterfall. Look at it. This is the Godafoss waterfall. And Godafoss in Icelandic means waterfall of the gods. I think it's a very appropriate name. So pretty. is seven and a half kilometers long <laughs> and it is so nice and warm in here massive uh, temperature difference for the outside yes I see light at the end of the tunnel oh wow so this is the town I'm going to that's quite big I am crossing that bridge over there and uh, the clinic is somewhere in the city center, I believe. Yesterday I got an email that I need to do a second okay. test. I came with the boat. We are not doing any second tests until Tuesday. Uh, everything is, uh, is closed. We're not doing tests over the weekend. Ah, because it's holiday. Yeah, and not on Monday either because uh, it's a red day. So ah. everything is closed. Okay, thank okay, you. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye. All right, so I wanted to do what was asked for me and do the second test. But now they tell me that uh, all the clinics uh, are closed because of the, the holidays. Uh, I will do the second test. But yeah, uh, if everything is closed, then I can't do it, right? Anyway, so I just checked and uh, it's 100 kilometers to my next destination if I go straight or 200 kilometers if I take the fjords. And it is now 1.30 and it's relatively good weather and I just really feel like I want to do some riding. Um, I feel like today I didn't do any riding. So yeah, I am going to take the long route through the fjords and uh, see how that is. So uh, let's go. So this is actually a one-way tunnel, one-lane tunnel and you just kind of have to wait for each other in between. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. See now we have to wait here again. There's no traffic light or anything like that. I think 
the smell in this place gives away what the people do here and it's probably fishing <laughs> oh there's such a strong fishy smell around here I ah, see here all the fishing boats thick This is where I am staying tonight. It's nice and warm here because uh, it was starting to get a little bit chilly. But overall, oh, I was I felt so lucky with today. No rain at all, and it was beautiful again. So I really enjoyed the day uh, and seeing all those different types of uh, geological features. I thought it was awesome. Uh, and yeah, I just I got some nice riding done. Ronin is just riding fantastically and uh, I'm just really enjoying it. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.